Guys, have you ever lost files or folders, things that you've accidentally deleted and thought you'd lost them forever? Yeah, I think we've all done that. Today, guys, I'm going to tell you about a piece of software that is a must-have for every one of you that have made that mistake. Coming right up. What's up YouTube, Dave here with Scene Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. And if you haven't stopped by here before, please be sure to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So yes guys, today I want to talk about a piece of software for all of you guys, just like I have, we've all done it. We've deleted, accidentally deleted files or folders, put something in a recycle bin inadvertently, clicked empty the bin or recycle bin or whatever you've got, Mac or PC, and only to have that heart rendering moment when we've realized what we've done, lost our files forever. But have we? Today, guys, I wanna talk about a piece of software called Recover It from a company called Wondershare. Now, Wondershare, guys, make a ton of cool software for just about everything. Now, I am gonna just say out front here that I have been sponsored to make this video. Wondershare have sponsored me to make this video, but guys, as always, I remain uninfluenced, and as such, you will always get an honest review from me. Guys, I'm sure I'm not alone in that we've all made that fundamental mistake. We've all clicked on something, deleted it, emptied the recycling bin or the trash can or whatever you want to call it, realized that we've done it and the file's gone. Whether it be, you know, a special picture, a video, maybe a music track, whatever, it's gone. I know there are other solutions out there, cloud, external drives, RAID arrays. I mean, I've got a whole ton of different things for backing up. You know, and RAID arrays, let's face it, have become more prevalent recently, but they are still fairly costly. And I think the whole backup strategy, if you've got something like Time Machine, if you're a Mac user, or some external piece of software, if you're a Windows user, you start off and you mean well, and you kind of, you know, use this stuff fairly diligently, but over time, you kind of become a little less diligent about these things. And, you know, something slips through the net. The other side of that coin is you can have all the backup technology in the world, but if you've just deleted something, emptied the recycle, and it hasn't had a chance to back it up anywhere, the files are gone. And there's nothing you can do about that. Well, there is something you can do about it. You can get this software from Wondershare, recover it, and you can recover it. So let's take a look at the software. I've installed this on my MacBook. Now, I'm just gonna say that there were a couple of installation things that I needed to do, um, whereas when I installed it, it didn't quite give me access to the drive interface because there is protection, particularly on Macs. So you have to kind of open up terminal, run this CSR util script, which will then take off the security on your drives to enable the software to get access to it. But once I did that, it was pretty plain sailing to install. So guys, as I said, this comes for both Mac and PC, and you can pretty much recover your files from either internal storage or externally mounted drives or pretty much everything. The other nice thing about this software is that Wondershare say there are a thousand different file types that you can restore onto a bunch of different types of partitions. So whether it's XFAT, NTFS, HFS, whatever the file system is, whatever the file type is, it seems like these guys have got it covered. The interface, as you can see here, looks pretty intuitive. And in fact, it's pretty much like a three-step process. Basically, you select what you want to restore. So either the file type, the partition, the trash can, the desktop, whatever it is, the folder that the file is in, whatever it is, or the folder that the files are in. You click on scan, it will go through a process. Now, trust me, the process can be quite long. For an eight gig memory stick, it took about 20 minutes to scan through that. So if you've got terabytes of data, it is gonna be a bit of an overnight job. And then you'll get a list of the files that have been identified. You can preview most of these files. So if it's a document or a picture or even a video file, you'll be able to preview it before recovering it. And you click on recover 
And there you go. So let's jump over to the computer and take a quick look at the interface. So guys, I've got the software installed now. As you can see here from the interface, I've got my uh, two MacBook partitions, hard drive, internal hard drive partitions. I've got Neo Storage, which is actually connected to my machine as an external drive. It's actually the dongle, but it's got a built-in um, 256 or 250 gig um, SSD built-in. Um, so you can see that drive, and interestingly enough, that drive does not show up in my Finder. So that drive isn't mounted as part of my file system, or rather, the MacBook that I'm using cannot actually see that partition. However, the Recover It software has identified that partition and it has mounted it. It tells me here it's 224 gigabytes and there is a XFAT partition. Also mounted as an external drive is the HP stick. That's an internal memory stick, 141 megabytes of seven gig. So again, another XFAT partition. Then you can see other locations like trash, or in my case, it will be the recycle bin, desktop, or you can select a folder. You've got a couple of advanced options here, which I haven't got a license for, which are recover from a crash computer, video repair, and advanced video recovery. So if I can get a serial key or a license from Wondershare, I will be able to show you those features also. So guys, I'm gonna open up the HP stick. As you can see here, there are three directories and one movie file. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I've got an image file on my desktop. I'm gonna drag that image file into the root of the HP stick. So there you can see it next to the three directories and the other file that we talked about. Now I'm gonna delete it. There you go, it's gone. And I'm gonna to go to the trash can and empty the trash can. So you can see that file is kind of gone and perhaps gone forever. Now, let's click on the HP stick, click on start, and let's see what gets discovered. So guys, as you can see, the scan is in progress and it's found my file already. Now I could take a chance and pause or stop the scan and try and recover that file or I can just wait for this to complete to ensure that everything has kind of worked properly. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here you can see that the scan has completed. There are 327 files that have been found. Um, obviously, one of those is my file. I'm gonna click on got it. And I'm gonna click on my file, my image file, click on recover. It's going to prompt me for a location to save it in and a file name. There you go, one file successfully recovered. I'm going to open that directory, click on the image file, and there you have it. There is my image file brought back to life after I thought it was gone forever. So the next example that I wanted to show you is the Neo Storage. Now the Neo storage is that built in 250 gigabytes of internal storage in a dongle that I mentioned just a few moments ago. So having done the scan of that in order to save time, I kind of done that already, but having done the scan, the scan's complete, it's found 120 files. So just by way of a recap, remember my operating system, my Mac OS, wasn't even showing this drive as a mounted drive. So the Wondershare Recover It software has identified it as a drive. It has scanned it. It has come up with 120 files that have been found. It does say that you should recover them again as soon as possible because they do get overwritten over time. So we'll click on the got it and we see here a bunch of directories and files that we can choose from so there's a folder here called Audi Day Silverstone you can't really read it all I'm going to open that up and inside that folder there are two mp4 video files so if I double click to preview one of those files it's going to tell me that files that are 15 megabytes or rather that are larger than 15 megabytes are not available for preview, but you can view these files after recovering it to your computer. And then there's just an error there saying that 
the 15 megabyte file limit has been exceeded. So no worries at all. Let's just highlight this one, click on recover and see what happens. Again, we're gonna get prompted for a location and a file name. So let's just save that. It takes a few seconds, it's recovered the file. Let's open the folder. Here we can see the name of the drive, the Audi Day Silverstone folder, and the file is sitting there. And there you can see it, guys. That's opened up the file and what that is, is me going round an Audi R8 round Silverstone racetrack on an Audi experience day. But I won't bore you with all of that. So guys, there you saw a couple of examples of this software. Just by recap, I had two external drives. One was the Neo drive, which my operating system didn't even identify, but the Recover It software did. And I had an HP memory stick, which was identified by the operating system. We were able to drag a file onto that drive. We saw the file on there. We deleted it, put it into the recycling, emptied the bin so the file was gone. And then we were able to successfully scan that drive, find the file, recover it, and the file was good to go afterwards, so pretty cool. Under normal circumstances, we'd have emptied that recycle bin, and without some other type of specialist tool, that file would have been gone forever. Similarly, we had the Neo drive, which was the built-in to the dongle, and again, not recognized by the operating system, was recognized by Recover It. We were able to scan that drive, find a bunch of deleted files and folders on that drive. We went to the Audi Experience Day, went to recover one of the videos. We couldn't preview it because it was in excess of 15 megabytes, which actually is pretty small for a video file, but anyway. But we were able to successfully recover it pretty quickly, and that file was good to go. So guys, you know, this has been the first video and a quick look at some of the things that this software can do. It's powerful. I mean, I'm just scratching the surface here, but it's powerful. And for most people, you're not gonna need those power tools and the power capabilities of this software. They're there if you do need them. But for most of us, it's going to be something as simple as, I've accidentally deleted a file or some files, or a drive has become corrupt and not readable to the operating system. Recover it is going to identify that, mount it, recover the files on there, and you're going to be good to go again. So that really, in essence, is what most of us are going to use this software for. But the other more advanced and complicated things I'll be happy to share with you in the next video. But for now, guys, this has been Recover It from Wondershare. I think it's a no-brainer. It's very inexpensive, and this piece of software could literally save you. Yes, for people that are at home and they've just got pictures and sentimental files, you know, that's got a huge amount of value. For people that are professional and they're storing files, maybe for jobs, for third parties, for other people, whatever, then that's going to be a lifesaver for you. Because if you've deleted an all important wedding video or a set of pictures or something like that, you're pretty much screwed. Some things you just can't recreate. So guys, fundamentally, this is a very, very useful, simple to use piece of technology. Like I said, I have been sponsored by Wondershare to make this video. But as I also said, for me, you will always get my honest opinion. But I think this is pretty damn useful. So guys, Thanks ever so much for watching. If you've got any comments, questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time. Please like, please subscribe, please click on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. And thanks guys for watching. Bye for now.